the inner and outer planets in our solar system. In our solar system, astronomers often divide the planets into two groups, the inner planets and the outer planets. The inner planets are closer to the sun and are smaller and rockier. The outer planets are further away, larger and made up mostly of gas. The inner planets, in order of distance from the sun, closest to furthest, are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. After an asteroid belt comes the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The interesting thing is, in some other planetary systems discovered, the gas giants are actually quite close to the sun. The inner planets. A terrestrial planet, telluric planet, or rocky planet is a planet that is composed primarily of silicate rocks or metals. Within the solar system, the terrestrial planets are the inner planets closest to the Sun, I. East Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The terms terrestrial planet and telluric planet are derived from Latin words for Earth, Terra, and Tellus, as these planets are, in terms of structure, Earth like. These planets are located between the Sun and the asteroid belt. Terrestrial planets have a solid planetary surface, making them substantially different from the larger gaseous planets, which are composed mostly of some combination of hydrogen, helium, and water existing in various physical states. Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and also the closest. It rotates slowly, 59 Earth days, relative to the time it takes to rotate around the Sun, 88 days. The planet has no moons, but has a tenuous atmosphere, exosphere, containing oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. The NASA messenger, Mercury surface, space environment, geochemistry, and ranging, spacecraft is currently orbiting the planet. Venus Venus is the second planet from the Sunday. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. As the second brightest natural object in the night sky after the moon, Venus can cast shadows and, rarely, is visible to the naked eye in broad daylight. Venus lies within Earth's orbit, and so never appears to venture far from the Sun, either setting in the west just after dusk or rising in the east a bit before dawn. Venus orbits the Sun every 224.7 Earth days. With a rotation period of 243 Earth days, it takes longer to rotate about its axis than any planet in the solar system and does so in the opposite direction to all but Uranus, meaning the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Venus does not have any moons, a distinction it shares only with Mercury among planets in the solar system. Earth Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. According to radiometric dating and other evidence, Earth formed over 4.5 billion years ago. Earth's gravity interacts with other objects in space, especially the Sun and the Moon, which is Earth's only natural satellite. Earth orbits around the Sun in 365.256 days, a period known as an Earth's sidereal year. During this time, Earth rotates about its axis about 366.256 times. 
Earth's axis of rotation is tilted with respect to its orbital plane, producing seasons on Earth. The gravitational interaction between Earth and the Moon causes tides, stabilizes Earth's orientation on its axis, and gradually slows its rotation. Earth is the densest planet in the solar system and the largest and most massive of the four rocky planets. Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. In English, Mars carries a name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red Planet. The latter refers to the effect of the iron oxide prevalent on Mars' surface, which gives it a reddish appearance distinctive among the astronomical bodies visible to the naked eye. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere, having surface features reminiscent both of the impact craters of the Moon and the valleys, deserts, and polar ice caps of Earth. The days and seasons are likewise comparable to those of Earth because the rotational period as well as the tilt of the rotational axis relative to the ecliptic plane are very similar. The Outer Planets The Outer Planets sometimes called Jovian planets or gas giants, are huge planets swaddled in gas. They all have rings and all have plenty of moons each. Despite their size, only two of them are visible without telescopes, Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus and Neptune were the first planets discovered since antiquity, and showed astronomers the solar system was bigger than previously thought. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system and spins very rapidly, 10 Earth hours, relative to its orbit of the Sun, 12 Earth years. Its thick atmosphere is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, perhaps surrounding a terrestrial core that is about Earth's size. The planet has dozens of moons, some faint rings and a great red spot a raging storm happening for the past 400 years at least, since we were able to view it through telescopes. Saturn Saturn is best known for its prominent ring system seven known rings with well-defined divisions and gaps between them. How the rings got there is one subject under investigation. It also has dozens of moons. Its atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium, and it also rotates quickly, 10.7 Earth hours, relative to its time to circle the Sun, 29 Earth years. Saturn is currently being visited by the Cassini spacecraft, which will fly closer to the planet's rings in the coming years. Uranus Uranus was first discovered by William Herschel in 1781. The planet's day takes about 17 Earth hours and one orbit around the Sun takes 84 Earth years. Its mass contains water, methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and helium surrounding a rocky core. It has dozens of moons and a faint ring system. There are no spacecraft slated to visit Uranus right now, the last visitor was Voyager 2 in 1986. <music> Neptune Neptune is a distant planet that contains water, ammonia, methane, hydrogen, and helium in a possible Earth-sized core. It has more than a dozen moons and six rings. The only spacecraft to ever visit it was NASA's Voyager 2 in 1989.